Aloha, I'm Andy. Today I will upgrade the HP Compaq NC2400 notebook, with an SSD. Aloha, this video will be a little bit longer, because I want to explain why I did what I did to this notebook. This is my friend's HP Compaq NC2400 notebook, he uses for internet browsing. Mostly Facebook and for reading news, emails and for some backgammon game. So even if this notebook is old, it's a 13 years old notebook, for he's needs it's enough. When he brought to me this notebook with non-system disk or disk error and I disassembled the notebook. I realized there could be four possible fix for this notebook. First fix, the easiest and cheapest, to replace the HDD interface flex cable, because it was damaged and was cut out a piece from the flex cable contacts. Second fix, the hard disk drive is damaged and I need to replace the hard disk drive. I've searched on the internet for 1.8 inches hard disk drives and I find mechanical and SSD hard disk drives. But if the notebook will fail in time, I don't know where I can reuse the 1.8 inches hard disk drive, so this option isn't a real option for me. Third fix, the motherboard or hard disk drive plug on the motherboard is damaged, in this case I need to replace the hard disk drive plug or the motherboard, but I don't have tools and skills to replace the hard disk drive plug on the motherboard, and a new motherboard is too expensive. And the fourth fix and the second easiest to do, is to replace the optical unit with optical disk drive caddy and upgrade with a 2.5 inches SSD the notebook. So I ordered the hard disk drive interface flex cable and the ATA to SATA optical disk drive caddy, because the optical drive has ATA interface. In my number 339 video I replaced the HDD flex cable. In this video I will replace the optical disk drive with this optical disk drive caddy and a 2.5 inches SSD. This is the optical disk drive caddy, with ATA interface. Now let's begin the upgrade, I already removed the power cable, I flip the notebook and I remove the battery. With a Torx 9 screwdriver I remove the two screws and I pull out the optical drive, be careful because one screw is longer than another. I install the Kingston 120GB SSD in the optical disk drive caddy. The interface for the optical disk drive is at a I inspect visually the optical disk drive caddy to be compatible and I install the two holding metal clamps from the optical disk drive to the optical disk drive caddy. I mount the optical disk drive caddy with the SSD in the notebook and I screw in the holding screws.
I put back the battery and I plug in the power cable and I power on the notebook. Because I had some problems during the installation, the motherboard couldn't recognize the second hard disk drive, I had to remove the 1.8 inches mechanical drive. After that, I had, no problems, worked flawless. In my next video I will install the Windows 7, and I will make some hard disk drive speed tests, and I will measure the boot time with the SSD. Thanks for watching, don't forget to, share, comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time, goodbye.